Welcome, my name is Aaron Salzberg. I'm the director of the Water Institute at the University of North Carolina. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 UNC Water and Health Conference online. We're so glad that you were able to join us. The UNC Water and Health Conference has become the world's largest annual international conference dedicated exclusively to water and health. For those of you who are new to water and health, our goal is to create a safe space where we can collectively interrogate the latest science and evidence to improve policies and practices to achieve universal access to WASH services. It's where science and policy and practice come together. And we really mean it. Today's sound science and evidence matters more than ever, not just from the laboratories of academia, but from the field. Indigenous knowledge, the experience of workers, a better understanding of the behaviors, prejudices, and systemic inequalities that impede equality of access, these are the elements that need to inform our work. Creating an environment where we can sit firsthand and share these learnings and experiences across the divides of race, culture, history, and wealth, meritocracy, opportunity, this is what we think makes this meeting unique. It's also why we work so hard to make sure that those who couldn't be here in person can still be part of the conference and why I'm so glad you've chosen to join us. We've got an exciting week ahead. You can find a complete program for our online events here. In many cases, our online audience will be able to engage and ask questions alongside of our live guests. These sessions will also be recorded and archived so you can access them later. For our plenary events, we will have simultaneous translation into Spanish and French. And in a minute, I'll hand the podium over to James Ellsmore of Island Innovations, who will show you how you can navigate the online platform and get the most out of your online experience at our conference. Before that, though, I wanted to highlight some of the major events coming up this week. The plenaries are often our leading events. Today's plenary, which will start in just a few minutes, will take us to the future, 2050 to be exact. We will look at the challenges ahead and what this might mean for research policy and practice. Will we have universal access? Stay here to find out. Tomorrow, we will focus on wash and fragile environments and discuss approaches to bridging the gap across the humanitarian development security nexus. On Wednesday, we're going to revisit the 2023 Water Conference and explore what, if any, progress was made on achieving universal access to WASH services. On Thursday, we'll be getting back to our own commitment to addressing inequalities. We will be exploring the power dynamics around WASH and steps we can take to ensure our programming reflects shared responsibility and accountability between actors. And on Friday, we will be joined by Saros Jha, the Global Director of the Water Global Practice at the World Bank. The World Bank is the largest multilateral financier of water security and sanitation projects in the developing world. This is our chance to better understand where the World Bank is going and what they see as the major challenges and opportunities in WASH. There's also a lot going on outside of the plenary, so please do check out the technical sessions, side events, and posters that will also be available online. And I'll make one plug for a special event. Uh, this week is International Lead Poisoning Prevention Week. And many of you know that lead is an extremely potent neurotoxin that has profound irreversible impacts on the cognitive development of children. It's also ubiquitous in many of our water supply systems. At the 2023 UN Water Conference, a number of governments and partners pledged to stop the use of lead leaching pipes and parts in the construction of new water supply systems by 2030. Today, there will be a workshop focused on the development of national plans for preventing and mitigating lead exposure in drinking water, and later this week, a special event on the new Global Lead-Free Water Initiative. Hopefully, you can join. So a lot's going on this week. Before I turn this over to James, I wanna give a quick thank you to our sponsors. In particular, I wanna thank the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation, Osprey International, and World Vision who made this online experience possible. And finally, I wanna thank all of you. You are what makes UNC Water and Health special. Thank you for taking the time to join us and to share your knowledge with us. And now, over to you, James.